Hello pilots! We have just learned about the very first, even though probably small, content drop for Star Wars Squadrons. As announced in the Mando Monday livestream, Squadrons will get Mandalorian themed cockpit flares in celebration of the start of Mandalorian Season 2. Four items have been shown, including the child as a bobblehead, IG-11, a Greedo hologram and the Razor's crest as a hanging miniature. Just a moment later we got another official pilot briefing from Electronic Arts, I'll link it in the description below, which explained that both factions will receive one hologram, one decal, one dashboard flare and one hanging flare, meaning eight new cosmetics in total for you to unlock. It also showed a closer look and the remaining two objects, which are the Beskar ingot, which is the currency Mando was paid in in season one, which he then melted down to create an additional piece of his armor. And the other one being the Blurk hologram. So as we've seen the Razor's Crest and the mysterious creature aka the child will be for the rebels and I expect the Blurk to be the third one while the Imperial pilots get the IG series assault droid, the Beskar ingot and the Bounty which shows the Greedo with a, with a wanted tag on it. The only thing not shown so far are the decals. What we do know though is that this content update hits in just two days, October 28th, and just like everything else in Squadrons, will be free and obtainable with your in-game glory currency. And while this might not be a big update for the game, I got excited enough to quickly make a video for two reasons. Number one, we knew that a patch 1.3 for Squadrons is currently being tested and that it is rumored to fix a lot of the current problems of the game. So while last Friday we did not get a version 1.3, this might be the reason and the date they were waiting for. That is speculation from me though. The second reason is of course that a free Mandalorian themed content update, no matter how small in features, is a pretty big step from there currently are no plans for further Star Wars Quadrants content, which was said not even a month ago. So once again there is reason to hope that there's actually a little bit more plan for Squadrons than we are initially led to believe. However, this update cannot yet be a reaction to the very successful launch and sales numbers of Squadrons, as even such a small content update would take quite some time to prepare. So don't get your hopes up too high just now, even though rebellions are built on hope after all. That's everything I have for today. I'm very excited about the news in general and hope for more to come. I'll cut the complete announcement after this video and if you haven't already, have a look at yesterday's video where I compared all iron components in Squadrons. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Hey everybody, Kristen Baber from This Week in Star Wars here to let you know about the bounty of Mandalorian fun coming to your favorite video games. Gamers all over the world have been logging hours of flight time in Star Wars Squadrons and soon you'll be able to add more Mando to your mode of transportation. We're talking about Mando goodies including new dashboard holograms and cockpit flares featuring the bounty puck, razor crest and yes there's even a child inspired bobblehead. And you can earn it all for free just by playing Squadrons when the content launches in-game on October 28th. Over in Star Wars.